who's on the roster today, starting with Speyside High School, Malik Secondary, in fact, with Akeem James, Malachi Woodley among the names to look at. Look out for Jalen Matthews. He's been good. Joshanti Daniel and Oba Samuels would provide some support while Anthony Bartholomew sits in the dugout. Well, when you look at the team formation, Woodley uh, will be the anchor in the middle of the park. Worrell, a busy man up front. I expect him, sorry, oh, Samuel, the man up front. I expect him to cause some problems. Well, they're dressed in yellow. And these are the fellows that will stand out for Speyside High School. Makaya Taylor will be the man to beat in goal. He's been good. Lennox Eastman will be one of the cogs in midfield. Look out for that name, Raquel May Phillip. He's got a big name and a big reputation as well. And Nikel Williams, while Akko George is the coach. Well, the familiar 4-4-2 formation. Campbell dropping a bit deep, playing in that false nine. Daniel would provide the width along with Phillips on the left side. Well, using his strengths there, he has Eastman. Finally combining but losing possession this time. Richards, long ball, looking for Samuel. Well, he might get the 14 of the bunk, Samuel. He's lost his man here, Samuel! What a goal from Samuel! The Malik boys are back. One lapse in concentration was all it took. And Samuel was able to hit the mark, 1-0. Well, goalkeeper Taylor is walk, looking around, wondering what just flew by him. It was a Samuel special. Does well to win. Losing out in the end before the high elbow. That will get them a talking to from Nikolai Nyron. And a yellow card issued to George. Yeah, and it wasn't, it wasn't necessary really, George. He just needed to get himself back in front of the ball. Instead, try to utilize a lot of his hand when it be pulling or trying to, of course, impede. Can't do that. It's well won. Philip looking for Daniel. He's found some space for himself here, Daniel. Well, can't get it wrong this man this time. Well, he's done well, Daniel. And, uh, well, Nikolai Nairon seems to think it's a penalty. And Spearside with an opportunity to get back in the match. Thanks to that man, Daniel. Well, it was a lot of physicality in that play. And uh, credit that man in your, in your picture. Uma Daniel. Daniel. For persevering with it more than anything else. I'm sure from a Malik perspective, they would think that uh, there wasn't much they are guilty of. But uh, they don't have the whistle. Referee Nyron does. It will be an opportunity for Quashi to put his team back on level terms. Nikosi Kwashi can. 1-1. One, one. This game on. She loves it. Well, goalkeeper Worrell picked the side. Have the wherewithals to do it. It's Eastman. Space side in search of a winner. Oh, they found it! They found the potential winner, Spearside Secondary. Might be George who have gotten the last touch. Might have come up the defender. Who cares? They're 2-1 up. But let's take a look at those numbers. As the sun sets and the points set with them. Well, a remarkable 17 shots by Malik. And look at that figure, James. Six of those Six alone on target after 17 shots. Seven for space side, three on target. Ten fouls collectively uh, did have some of its moments, and so we saw four yellow cards split between the two. And, of course, uh, offsides, one, corners, three and four, respectively. And the possession chart, heavily, not heavily in favor of Malik, but slightly 
uh, as it relates. But I think the quality and what they did with the possession is really the downfall of Malik today. When you look at that scoreline, I think from a Malik secondary perspective, they should have done a lot better with the opportunities that they had. What do you think Speyside did to win this match? Well, I think they wrote their luck at, at, at some points. But uh, I think more importantly, from a defensive standpoint, the likes of uh, Kwashi uh, and, of course, uh, Baptiste and Johnson slotting in to make it a back five was resolute and strong. Uh, and they did win their fair challenge, the fair amount of challenges. Well, certainly will be a special moment for Speyside to take back. Of course, they've got a holiday. And, uh, well, might as well, an extra day to celebrate. As we send it down to Hans De Fiends, who's standing by with our man of the match, Daniel. James, I'm here, Omar Daniel, man of the match. Congratulations, scored his first goal for the season against St. Anthony's College earlier this week. Was this the, res the result that you expected today, and how happy are you? Well, I am glad to see that we win this game. We are very happy we work hard for it. Last game was unfortunate, yeah. but to came out this one and, and do better. Who you all have coming up next? Who do you all face next? Face. I'm not sure. All right, well, don't worry. We'll keep you updated with the fixtures. And if you're trying to find out what's happening with the fixtures with the Secondary Schools Football League, check out the Sportsmax app. We have all the information. We will keep you updated. What can we expect from you for the rest of the season? Well, we can expect greatness. That's greatness. Yeah. All right, Omar Daniel, congratulations to you. You are man of the match today. We now get ready for Brent Sancho. He's with the coaches. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Hans. Of course, uh, I'm now joined by the head coach of Malik Secondary. Coach, your assessment of the 90 minutes? Too confident. You go in and it's too confident and the, the work rate wasn't as how it's supposed to be. The lack in the second, the second ball. Well, of course, you created enough chances to go on and win it. Sucker punched at the end, eventually losing all three points. How do you build back and, of course, get the team back up to spirits moving into the rest of the fixtures? Well, you know, as I tell you guys, it's only business, you know? So just dust your pants, get up again next day, and, you know, we go again. We fight another day. Thank you, know? thank you very much, Coach, and all the best. Thank you. Coach, well, well manager joined here by the manager of Speyside. Of course, uh, coming away with all three points at the end of the day, a big day for Speyside. Yes, certainly. Your assessment of what transpired. Um, we came here with a mission and a game plan. We wanted to move up the table. We always believe that we have a bunch of talented players who could bring it home, and they did exactly what the coach would have asked of them. So couldn't be more, more proud of what the guys did. Well, in the build-up to this game, we spoke about how difficult it is for teams to come from Tobago Certainly. and play on the day. Yes. Can you, of course, tell our viewers what, uh, of course, your day was like coming to here to Serpentine Road? Yes, certainly. And um, most of us were up at around 2 a.m. because we live in the eastern side of the island, Charlottesville, most of the students and space side and environs. And it's challenging. We came down on the boat and we were housed here, but... At the end of the day, I always tell my players that you, you rise despite your challenges and you go forward. So, yes, there are challenges, but we try to rise above it. But it's difficult. Wise words from the manager. Thank you. Thank you very much and all the best all for the, the rest best. of the season. <laughs> Well, they definitely made it through the difficulty. Speyside High School, Tobago, coming away with the victory against... 